once again epic games hooked it up with a upcoming collaboration early we have Ezio from assassin's creed now i did already pre-order assassin's creed valhalla to get this skin on march 10th on my epic games account here in fortnite so i'm not sure how it's going to work since i pre-ordered the game but regardless you're going to get the outfit here no back bling comes with it honestly doesn't really need one but i do have a few to show you after the gameplay we do have an edit style for hood up and hood down okay and then the harvesting tool is actually a built-in emote called assassin strike so once you do this in game it will take over whatever harvesting tool you have currently um in your combo here and then you can use this as your harvesting tool but it's only a single hand swing it's not a dual handed swing even though there's blades on both wrists there so i'm just saying so this is one of those outfits that don't need a back bling and it's a good thing because it doesn't come with one okay <laughs> but you do have the option to use um whatever harvesting tool you would like as long as you own it obviously or the built-in emote which unfortunately only swings with the right hand you would think because it comes out of both sides that's just my thinking that you would have it come out of both hands but ads here with the batter barn wrap looks really good ads is fine ADS is great, and this glider is 10 out of 10 Blade Raven. That is the perfect glider for Ezio here. Now, the harvesting tool, like I said, you can use whatever tools you have equipped, which I think these look really cool anyways. Those look great. But the built-in emote here, Assassin Strike. Cool, right? now this takes place of your harvesting tool if i go to my weapon and come back it's now the blades from the hand right or i guess you can say from his wrist but you only swing with the right hand which it's the same animation as like um like the superhero tools that we have that you can change the colors on it's the same swing animation as that really would have loved to see the two-handed animation here but regardless it sounds like a blade all right i think you can be a lot more creative um with using a different tool obviously from your arsenal i like i think that's great like it's it's a really cool like built-in emote there to have the tools but we've seen it before but it's only a one-handed swing animation anyways we're gonna try to do some combos um there's not a lot i'm gonna put on this outfit because it doesn't need one it's gonna look a little messy but regardless with the hood down it honestly looks like cypher pk <laughs> it really does <laughs> at least to me maybe it's a stretch <laughs> it might be a stretch but regardless Ooh, i leveled up for being in creative thank you fortnite <laughs> it looks like cypher pk <laughs> We're going to do hood up for the back blings here. Um, just kind of going with some color schemes, a little bit of a theme as well for some of these. That pendant looks really clean. Survivor's pack is so good. That is probably my favorite one. The colors are there. I, I would say somewhat of a theme. I'm not necessarily sure if you use bows in Assassin's Creed. I grew up playing Call of Duty 4 around the same time frame that this game uh, released. I believe it released um nine days after call of duty modern warfare cod 4 and all i did was no life that game i max prestiged i was playing game battles every day with my friends and then we were playing halo as well it was like that's that's all i played growing up guys when, when i seem like an uncultured gamer it's because i am i played call of duty and i played halo that's all i played growing up i was super competitive i thought i was going to be a competitive professional player one day but i Turns out I'm not, but I'm going to show you Mutiny in-game and the Survivor's Pack because I'm sure you're curious if there's any clipping with the cape on the shoulder or not. So let me show you those in-game real quick. So this is a fairly wide back playing. I think it's a really fun color scheme here. And you can see here, not a lot of clipping at all. So I think you're safe to put like a bigger back playing on, even though you don't really need one necessarily. I do want to show you... The other one here that is a really, really nice color scheme. The Survivor's Pack should look really good. Um, again, shouldn't be any crazy clipping. This one is actually one of the cleanest combos, and they're both Gaming Legends um, cosmetics. The outfit and the back bling. I think it looks cool. 
looks really, really nice actually with this back bling on i love it and with that being said guys thank you epic games for the etio skin early that has supported creator piz's own atom shop and we'll see you nerds on the live stream see ya